Hello, Chris Kiak here, and today I'm going to be showcasing another video on Argyle Build. And uh, I'm going to focus primarily on their integration with Imagian. Um, and Imagian is actually um, sort of what I would call a live um, conferencing system, but that integrates with mixed reality and using the Microsoft uh, HoloLens 2 headset. And so you can actually see me demonstrate this live in my house. I'm going to be, unfortunately, by myself running back and forth between my computer um, as well as the headset. But you're seeing a true live internet feed, and I'm going to be showcasing a real workflow here. Um, like you see on my wall, essentially, I've got, I'm showing the uh, electrical and the plumbing inside of my wall. And I'm going to be communicating um, out live in the field with the HoloLens that I need to take action and uh, make a correction and do some work or some maintenance item. And then I'm going to be on the phone live with somebody in the back office telling me what to do and giving me instructions. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. So I am here in our Argyle build and I'm using the integration that they have with the Magian. And uh, this is pretty cool. So I'm actually on a live call and uh, somebody can be on their desktop. I actually have this in my other room where I can see and I'm in the call on my web browser over in my office. Um, and so I actually opened up a PDF drawing and the person on the desktop can, uh, you know, zoom in and out to specific areas and show either images, specs or drawings. And this is pretty cool. I mean, this is basically the drawing I made of my office in Tecla Structures, like an erection drawing. And I can see all of the dimensions and then I can come over here and I actually see that, uh, you know, building information model here. What's cool is I can turn on um, just certain layers. So, you know, I don't need to see the walls because the walls are as built. I more need to see inside of the walls. So like, let's say I had to do some plumbing rework or maybe I was gonna take out this old radio panel here um, and uh, maybe make some instructions. I could be talking live on the phone and actually hearing while I have the HoloLens, uh, somebody from the office kind of giving me instructions and telling me a bit about what needs to be done, or I could look at an image related to that. They could kind of give me detailed things. They could put even thumbtacks um, and pointers telling me what to sort of look at and even put notes in here and say, hey, this is the thing that you need to remove. That is really, really, really cool. So just a neat uh, additional workflow example here um, where two different softwares, Argyle Build and Imagium, like are tied together using the HoloLens and bringing 2D drawings, um, live, you know, multi-user sort of interaction in remote locations and building information models overlaid with aug augmented reality. I mean, what, a, what an easy way to work in the field. Cool stuff. All right, so here I am on my desktop and you can actually see that I've got the PDF open. And as I move around this, uh, since it's shared over um, on the HoloLens side as well, um, basically they would see the drawing move and update um, as I'm moving around in this PDF. So if there was a specific area on a drawing that we needed to focus on, then uh, basically the person on the HoloLens would be able to see that as well. Now, because I'm using the same account to look at things, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to sort of do um, you know, the pull pin tool here, but uh, basically, oh, yep, I can, and I can actually put some information here. So I'll just say remove the panel or old radio, and then I'll just say check. And what's awesome is that this pin will appear um, over on the HoloLens live, you know, so through the internet. So this is fantastic. I can interact from my desktop in a different location, and then the person on the HoloLens sees exactly the instructions and area of focus that I'm telling them to specifically work on. Pretty cool stuff. All right, and just to finish up the workflow, I wanted to showcase that here I'm back in the HoloLens, and there is the remove the old radio comment and the push pin that essentially I just did over on the web browser. And again, I can see my drawing has been moved, so I'm zoomed into a different location based on where the person in the office on the desktop had zoomed me to. I mean, this is fantastic. Um, live communication, I mean, w why is this different than just having FaceTime um, with my iPhone and just kind of talking to somebody? Well, first of all, there's capture. So this Imagian will actually capture um, essentially the conversation and when we have any of these push pins, um, I can look at the drawing at the same time um, overlaid in the real world hands free. So I can just focus on what I'm looking at in the conversation versus messing around with my phone. Um, and all of this uh, is recorded and can be stored in a report in Imagian. So, um, I mean, just what a fantastic way of using all these different technologies together. 
Okay, one last piece here back on the desktop software. Um, once you actually do the video conference and it's over, um, you can actually come in here and download a PDF report that I was talking about. So if I actually click on this here, um, we'll download that. It gives you a QR code as well as essentially a link to this. Um, but what's nice is it actually store, sort of gives you a historical um, report of different things that are going on. And um, so basically it'll say even when things have been named, uh, when different push bins. This is something I actually did uh, with the CEO of Argyle Build earlier today, uh, Merit, uh, where she was, her and I were actually working remote. She was up in Portland. And here you could see um, basically a full report history and the specific locations. So what's great about that is when I actually go back and watch the video, I can kind of jump to those specific locations um, in the video so I can look at that specific item that we had discussed. If you found this content useful, please subscribe to our channel and press the alerts button to be notified when we upload new content.